Hello everyone, this is Tom from Skynet Clouds. Yesterday I have noticed in my LinkedIn a lot of advertisement on Amazon Honey Code. With more curiosity, I would like to explore and will show up the features and how we can use it. This video session will be a walkthrough about Amazon Honey Code and hope everyone know better easily. For accessing the Amazon Honey Code, you have to hit HTTPS honeycode.aws what honeycode is amazon telling honeycode is a platform where you can do your automation or inbuilt some task and you can able to create an application and share the data across colleagues let's explore more this is the home page of honeycode so here they specifically telling no programming required so i believe this will be a great opportunity for people who have no programming knowledge but would like to do some apps when we scroll down as you can see the interface okay that means if we do one update in the app the data is shared across the team members each team member have the feature to personalize their views through different colors and all and this application is highly compatible to different screens like laptops big screens mobile view etc honeycode helps to automate our manual steps we can define rules and based on the rules the event will be happen let's have a look on templates view all template so basically a template helps us to create one application on much more easy way. So pretty much decent templates are available. So today we can choose one template and try this. Before that let's see pricing. Oh my god, Honeycode is free for teams up to 20 members and 2500 rows per work. It's really a cool feature from Amazon or oh, they have providing unlimited workbooks oh, pretty good so when you have time it's better you to go through the FAQ because FAQ mostly covers your questions and answers oh good so community is like a helping hand where other people who are developing the apps or will share some innovative ideas about how we can use Honeycode okay Without any time, I'm going to Honeycode. Believe my AWS account will not work here. So let me try info. Info at a strong part. Then hit on the create account. And confirmation email has been sent to my email box let me log in using the new newly created account i'm feeling more excited to see what honey code is so welcome to honey code flexible connected collaborative fine so this is just a high level walking through how we can create build and how we can utilize honey code okay let me go in okay we can start here so the interface is very clean and neat there is no much icons or logos and it's telling that you don't have any work apps or apps yet fine so this is my profile my team notification okay now i am going to create a workbook so I have option to choose a template. Okay. So let me take a simple to-do list. So when I click on to-do list template, it has created some sample template. So you can see some sample data like task, assignee, first name, due date, status, remained on notification. It's quite straightforward. Okay. This is the table session when we click here we can see this is the task 
and this is the readme session okay so for this project simple to do they have defined this much tables basically we we can say sheet excel sheet okay this is the dashboard okay so in the dashboard we can see how, how many how many tasks need to be do today or overdue how many tasks are upcoming how many of them are complete this is pretty much simple so if you want to change your data you can specify over here create a new app this is just a sample data so for this demo i am running only this sample data and you can see this one second one this is a builder app so here it's already created a default to do app so i click on that so you can see how many screens are there total four screens are for simple to do app like my task all task edit add task so this is the view of our app in web as well as in mobile okay let me edit skynet clouds demo task this is a scrollable one so by default one task is tick that means it is completed so when we click on some act some buttons over here or blocks it should see we can see on the button properties like action we can have add task so now i click on all task you can see the name as all task okay fine so this comes edit so this is the automation part so like a reminder if some actions like in this case if someone marked one action item as complete uh, we can do some automation scripts like can send a notification to some other team members etc so when i click here you can see the ta automation will start once each row in this table that means task is a drop down so in the task starts week after one is notification okay row edit or delete column change cell change so these are the uh, action items or the trigger reason for the trigger yeah so now i am going to publish so the automation is being published please wait fine so amazon honey code says it has been published all right so in my drive you can see you are published app so this is the symbol to do app you can see the owner and all so now click on the link so we can see the skynet demo task so these are the task to do task and the one completed so let me click on here so once it click you can see it already come down and i can able to add task like work on the ops pipeline okay and the due date will be it's a date picker will be this coming saturday and set a demand remainder like one day before it add work on the ops pipeline it's, it's already added in my task so this is the option to see all tasks that and this is hard task option and this is kind of demo uh, with no programming language we can able to create uh, some forms or like a task which we, which has been done repetition repeatedly so hopefully you got an idea about amazon honey code still they are in beta product so if you like our video please do please do subscribe our video so that you won't miss any of our new upcoming videos thank you for watching